Hello YouTubers! Now today we're going to make a component tester um, for oscilloscopes. Um, works on any oscilloscope even, as long as it's got the uh, X and Y mode. So that's it. And just before anyone asks, yes, it's all my idea. This is my design from beginning to end. Uh, what's that? Did you hear that? Sounds strange. Oh yeah, yeah, very funny. Obviously, not my design. This is whose design it is. Guy's a genius. I'll put his link down below um, to uh, his page and stuff. Big thumbs up. Um, I love his videos. You should watch them. Uh, he does some interesting stuff. So yeah, anyway, we'll get cracking on with this and uh, let's make a component tester. Now it's very simple. Um, as regards the bits you need. Just zoom in there, so it's a component tester, curve trace tester. Providing your oscilloscope has an X and Y mode. Let's have a quick look at the board. This is the finished board. Um, 70 millimeters long by 39 millimeters. I am going to do a video on how to make boards. It's very simple, but I'm just showing you the complete board here now. And the parts you would need. Now again, I'll put a list up at the end, but basically just a switch, a couple of test points. These are the resistors and the transistors you need. Again, we'll go into more detail, obviously through the video. See the resistors and all all the bits you need. Now this is the actual board layout. So you can see where the nine volt battery goes and stuff like that. It is fairly straightforward. It has to be if I can understand it. Now we'll uh, crack on and make it, and uh, let's see how we get on. Now I'm going to do some of the easy things first. I don't know how uh, well this is going to come through camera. Um, hope you should be able to see it because obviously to try and solder as I'm looking at the camera is going to be very very difficult. So I might just kind of solder and hopefully don't get in the way too much and then I can, once I've done each part, um, I'll either lift it up to the board or something like that. I don't know if I'm going to go through everything because I don't know how long this video is going to be. It could be quite boring. Um, so I'll we'll just basically wait and see. Uh, so I'm going to do the old uh, the test points first. I'm going to solder them in because they're nice and big, nice and big, um, and kind of easy to do, especially on camera. So we'll see how we get on with this. Now I'm just going to prop the board up on this so. I can poke everything through, it just gives me a bit of, uh, well, it makes it a little bit easier for me. Turn on my soldering iron, and turn it to 350 degrees. Um, so a fine tip, and I'm going to use 0.3 mil solder, and our good friend flux again. Now I'm just going to tin the four points there for my test points first. Okay, and best thing about using the flux and thin wire you don't need to hold anything on for a long time. It's nice and thin. Flows nice and easy. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. 
Now, they're all tinned. Do that on the back. So then I'm just literally gonna stand these feathers up. And now I don't think I'm gonna record all the soldering because it's just the video will be too long and too boring. But basically, I think I'll just do each step at a time and then show you uh, what it looks like. So that's the four legs. I say legs, the, the, the four tests stalked, soldered on. So that's it there. And we'll crack on with the next thing. Now, what I've just done, I've just put a bit of hot milk glue on them because they are quite vulnerable because they do stick out a lot. So, just to make them that little bit stronger. And now, hopefully, nothing's going to happen to him. So, what's next to put on? Now, next, I'm going to put on the transistor. You just see it here, my fingers. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to tin one of the legs first, just so then it's, it can hold itself, and then I'll solder the other two legs. Now, as you can see, there's a couple more things on. Hopefully, that will zoom in. I've put a 1K resistor on, 2.8K resistor on, a 2M resistor. So, hopefully, if I can maybe just keep that going up until it goes out of focus. Now, a couple more things have gone on. Uh, I guess I can show you. Two 10K resistors there and there, and three 4.7 capacitors, Fahrenheit capacitors. So three in there. One, two, three. Again, we'll just get up to show you. Hope you can see all that now. Still see it. Uh, there we go. I'd say about halfway there now, not far away. Now, as you can see, we're getting closer, but just a quick tip for anybody. Um, these legs got in the way of me putting the switch. Now, I got the switch on, as you can see there, but it would have been a lot easier if I didn't put them two on first. See, we're learning. We're learning as we go. So, that's the switch on. That's the three legs that side and three legs that side. Like I said, just a little bit easier if that wasn't in the way, but it's still possible. So, a couple more things, and we're ready to test. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like porn, isn't it? See that? Shiny. Now, let's crack on. All right, that's our circuit board done. I've just got to connect the battery up. Sorry, this side here. Just connect the battery, uh, and that's basically it. Now, um, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can buy these, but what's the point? Do you know, whole idea of this, Try it yourself, have a bit of fun, you know, learn on the way. If you mess up, do it again. Doesn't cost a lot, so a lot more fun, I reckon, anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to put some hot melt glue on here as well because obviously that again can get a bit of stick. I'm going to have to blag uh, a 9 volt battery off something downstairs, I'll find that. And then we can test. Oh, yeah, look at that myself sometimes. Sorted! Now, yes, I did forget. Is there a little fella in there where the tweezers are? It's a one ferret electrolytic cap. So, I just zoom in on it there. Nah, it's a big fella in the middle. So, no more screaming at your tellies. Oh, you forgot something. As you can see, I've just put a bit of glue there. It doesn't really need it. I mean, it just, you know, just helps. Now, we should literally be ready to go. Um, now, I've basically copied this off somebody. Now, I've asked and he doesn't mind. So, you know, again, don't start screaming. 
I have a few changes in mind just to personalize it a bit that's going to be another video but basically I don't particularly like copying people to the letter but uh, this is a copy now but when we finish with it it's just going to have my little twist on it look at that now that is it complete I know people are going to say well why are they too thick look I didn't have anything else so I'm just using this for the minute and I'm just going to wrap it around the 9 volt battery until I get swing obviously better but at least we're just going to be able to test it that's all this is really about and like I said look you can buy these but what's the point you know have fun make them you know it's a bit of fun um, and you can sit back and think oh, I made that and especially when it works it's great so that's it I just get a 9 volt battery and we'll test it Well, so that's complete. <clears throat> I'll do another video where I'm actually doing uh, testing with it. There's going to be a few more parts this video, I reckon, because I'm just going to do a few changes to it and stuff. Um, so stick around for them. But it's made, so next video we're going to see if it works. Hopefully it does. And uh, we'll just test a few components with it and stuff. So And just, just have fun with it. Do you know, there's no point... Um, going out and buying stuff like that you know there's old circuit boards you can get bits off that's one out of a computer um, and you can get most of the bits off there you know you might have to buy a couple of them and but you know they're not expensive you know so just just do it I'll show another um, another video on how to make the actual boards again very simple very cheap and uh, that's it so I hope you enjoyed it hope you've learned stuff from it don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and uh, have fun making yours. Talk to you later.